Okay, so exam 2, project 1, task 1. So on the recent releases worksheet, select all the video game titles in the cell range named no platform and delete the rows. Retain all other cells on the worksheet. So dun daw po kay recent releases, worksheet, ito yun, si recent releases, I-select daw natin lahat ng video game. Pero hindi mo ito iisa-isahin na i-select. Okay? So, meron tayong specific na name range na nakalagay dito. Ang pangalan ay no platform. Tatandaan na pag nagse-select tayo ng cell range na may pangalan, na may bookmark, yun po ay makikita natin dito kay name box. So, i-select natin yung drop down. I-click natin yung drop down ng name box. And then, sabi sa instruction ay no platform. So, select natin no platform. And then, delete daw natin yung row. So, kay home tab, cells group, yung delete drop down, delete sheet rows. Or pwede rin delete table rows. Okay, so delete sheet rows na lang. Okay, so lahat po ng row na nakaselect doon kay no platform ay na-delete. So, pag chinect natin ulit yung name box, wala na yung no platform na name range kasi dinirit na nga natin. And then, mark completed. <clears throat> Task number 2. On the top 20 videos worksheet, palitan daw natin yung width ng column C to 9. Yan, babasahin mabuti na dun, tayo, dun daw tayo kay top 20 videos. Maraming nagkakamali na andito pa rin kay recent releases. So, check nyo kung saan kayo nakaselect na worksheet. So, top 20 videos, i-select nyo or i-click nyo yung row, uh, column header C para ma-select lahat buong column C. And then, kay format dropdown, kay home tab, tapos yung cells group format dropdown, andun yung column width. And then, i-set down natin to 9. And then, OK. So, ayan na. Mark completed. Task 3. Doon pa rin kay top 20 videos, worksheet, i-apply daw natin yung 60% accent 1, cell style na 60% accent 1 sa top 5 video games located in cell range A4 to C8. So, sinabi na rin ano, na, na A4 to C8, ito po yun, A4 to C8. So, yun yung top 5 natin, yan, nakalagay sa rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, i-apply daw natin yung cell style, 60% accent 1. So, nasa ng style, home tab, styles group and then ito yung drop down ay yung more okay baka sa screen niyo yung nakalagay diyan cell style no? kasi itong screen ko medyo mas palaki kaya nakikita yung ibang uh, option so sa inyo baka nakalagay cell style so i-click niyo lang yung more and then hanapin natin yung 60% ayun 60% accent 1 and then mark completed task 4 convert daw natin that uh, yung table na nakalagay kay recent releases worksheet to a cell range. Iko-convert natin yung table into a regular cell. So, muna tayo kay recent releases. So, ito yung table natin. Paano kung sabing table ito? No? So, nung nag-click ako dyan sa cell, may numitaw sa taas na table design, contextual tab. So, yun yung palatandaan natin na ito ay table. And then also, meron siyang filter dito. <coughs> so, meaning ito ay table. So, mag-select ka lang kahit saan dito sa loob ng table. Hindi mo naman kailan i-select lahat yan. I-select mo lang yung cell na nasa loob ng table. So, kahit sa alin dyan. And then, punta ka ng table design. And then, sa tools group, andun yung option ng convert to range. Ayan. So, na-convert na natin into a range. Hindi mo masyadong nakita yung nag nangyari. So, ayan. Nawala na yung filter dito sa gilid. Tapos, pag nakiklik ako, wala na yung table design. So, na-convert na yung table natin into a regular range or regular cell. <coughs> and then, mark completed. Task 5. Insert a footer that displays today's date on the right. And then, return daw tayo sa normal view. So, wala naman sinabi kung anong worksheet tayo Kung kay top 20 or kay recent releases So, kahit sig saan siguro ikaw nakaselect So, dito na tayo kay recent releases And then, mag insert muna tayo ng footer So, insert tab And then, kay text group Andun yung header and footer And then, kay footer daw tayo So, zoom in ko lang <clears throat> So, scroll down na uh, Scroll down natin 
kasi header yan nasa taas. So, dito tayo sa footer. Okay, tapos ang, daw sa, sa, ang side doon daw sa right. So, sa kanan dito. So, maglalagay tayo ng today's date. Hindi ka magta-type mano-mano ng date ngayon. So, pupunta ka ng, i-click mo itong right side. And then, punta ka ng header and footer contextual tab. And then, nakalagay doon sa may header and footer elements group yung current date. Ayan. And then, click tayo sa labas. Taas niya. And then, return daw tayo sa normal view. So, view tab. Tapos, currently, nasa page layout. So, balik tayo sa normal. Ayan. Okay. And then, mark completed. Then, great project. Tingnan natin kung tama. Ayan. Tama lahat.